Hello, Dr. Vicki Peterson here. I wanted to speak with you today about something called precocious puberty. And this is when, uh, specifically today I'm talking about little girls, this is when little girls go through puberty earlier than normal. So puberty used to start around 11 to 13. The first thing that happens is hair develops in the armpits, um, in the genital area, and then little, little buds for breasts and uh, there can be acne, there can be a growth spurt, and then the young lady gets her period. And that used to be anywhere from 12 to 14 when little girls started menstruating. N now you have puberty beginning in younger than eight-year-olds. There are five-year-olds who are developing pubic hair, air, hair under their armpits, et cetera. Uh, needless to say, this is extremely young, and, and it's not just the emotional factor that comes into play of, of a young lady being mature enough to uh, have children uh, when uh, they're in kindergarten. You know, I mean, there's not even just that which has huge ramifications, but there's also the physical ramifications of when you have circulating estrogen, the female hormone, for so much longer, it increases your risk of breast cancer pretty dramatically, uh, studies say, by 30%. So it, it has a lot of negatives associated with it. It's becoming so uh, common that there's actually a protocol for it now, a drug protocol, where little girls are either given injections or implants in their arm where uh, it, it basically causes the pituitary to stop producing these hormones. And then as long as they have the implant or they keep getting the injections, um, they won't they won't go into puberty and then as soon as they stop of course it, it will occur so I, I think it would be better from the root cause viewpoint to really get to that underlying root cause because obviously women's bodies have never been designed to mature so young so what is going on what has driven this to occur there's been different studies looking at different aspects of our diet that are affiliated with this. Uh, one is the caffeine and sugar found in so many of the soda beverages. Aspartame, um, the artificial sweetener, is known to be what's called an endocrine disruptor, meaning offsetting the hormones and, and in this case causing them to uh, circulate in, in the young ladies to mature a, a lot sooner than they should. There's also the hormones found in meats and dairy products, of which uh, in our society, uh, little girls, little everybody <laughs> eats an abundance amount of, of it. Um, GMO found in um, a lot of different foods. Soy and corn are extremely high in it. Check my list, see if I'm leaving anything out. No, that was all of it. So um, what we really want to look at is, because of course, anything that's enough to disrupt the endocrine system, offset hormones, is creating a myriad of problems beyond precocious puberty. Uh, but that's our topic for today, so let's focus on that. So what we really want to look at um, is to decrease the sugar aspartame in the diet. It, it's not only leading toward precocious puberty, it affects weight. A lot of our children are overweight, as certainly are our adults. Um, but the cancer impact with sugar is, is there, as well as, of course, uh, disrupting the uh, endocrine system. So if I had a little girl uh, these days, or any child, I would, of course, get them off um, the high fructose corn syrup, the uh, colas, any never diet sweeteners. Um, they're so toxic in so many regards. GMO is not good for anyone. I mean, really this list is true for everyone, regardless of your age. Um, so no GMO products, and then really severely limit the amount of dairy products and meats coming into the diet. Uh, all animals make hormones, so when you eat their meat, you're getting their hormones. So that's always been the case. But what's happening now and has been for some time, we're augmenting these animals with more hormones so that they either produce greater quantities of milk in cows or they beef up and get to market faster, meaning they, they put on weight faster so that the cattle farmer can turn them around and, and uh, you know, get them to the slaughterhouse sooner because they 
they are of a certain weight. So um, these are the key areas that I would look at if I was a parent of a young child, and you can't start it too soon because, of course, if five-year-olds have pubic hair, then you need to start very, very young. Uh, if you already have a child that's starting to develop, you can definitely make these dietary changes as well. And so um, I hope you found this helpful. It's really a situation that we have in our society that's a repercussion of so many of the things that we talk about as the negative impact of our diet. And now it's impacting our children at such a young age and increasing the risk for cancer and, and a whole lot of other diseases. So I hope you found this informative. Let me know if you have any questions or if there's any t other topics you wish to hear about. That's what I'm here for. Um, we recently changed the name of our clinic. We are officially Root Cause Medical Clinic. Uh, we've always been about getting to the underlying root cause, and so we're excited to uh, share our new name. Uh, it's the same team, it's the same address, it's just a new name, but we're really happy about it. Uh, we help the world's busiest people regain, retain, and reclaim their health, their energy, and their resilience, and I'm definitely here to help you do that too. So uh, if you have any questions, give us a call, 408-733-0400. We do phone, uh, free phone consultations as well as consultations here in the office. We're in Sunnyvale, California. And until next time, I wish you very good health.